Right, okay, at some point last year, I started putting together a recipe book all about chippy foods. Just unusual chippy foods, ordinary chippy foods, any kind of chippy foods. And I've created a number of best-selling recipe books in the past. I'm a writer. And I had to put that book back a little bit because and it, that's why it's only just finished now. So that's the good news. And I'm going to provide you with a link for that in the description. Yeah, share it with as many people as you can. Share it with your friends on your social media. It's free. You know, there's dozens and dozens of recipes in there. Okay, if you do it this way, you go to thechippytour.com and you'll get straight to the website here. You'll find all kinds of links with great information. Blogs I created, again, prior to starting this project this year. Now, if you go to the top of the screen on the home page, you'll see the chippy recipes. Click on that. And here's a page dedicated to it. Here's all the links to my social media. Free chippy downloadable PDF chippy recipes. When you click the download button, create a new file or use an existing file and save it. It's that simple. Once you save it, it's available for you to use, to share, to do whatever you want straight from your file. A little intro there about doing me a favour to get it shared. There's links to all my social media. And it's an interactive PDF that I've created. And it will be going in paperback. And I'm working on that now just to get all the formatting done. And it will be available in paperback for as low as I can really get it. So that people will be able to use it. People will be able to, to uh, share it with their friends and whatnot. Now as you scroll through, you can click on these links. There's loads of information here as you're going through it. The recipes start. You can click on the links in the recipe. So let's say crab cakes. And there's the recipe for crab cakes. So let's look at these recipes here. We've scrolled down to the recipe pages and let's have a look. We've got sauces and gravies. We've got three desserts, that's all. We've got meat free. We've got uh, meat based. We've got seafood. So let's just, and there's a selection of, it says fish to start with, and then all kinds of batters and breadcrumbs. And those batters and breadcrumbs are not specifically for the fish. They can be used for other meats, other products, other things. So let's have another look at one from here. Let's click on cod roe, battered. And there's a recipe there, simple recipes. You can scroll through like that if you wish, or we can go straight to this sidebar. Let's go to seafood. It'll start up the first recipe in seafood. Meat free, it'll go straight to cheese sticks, breaded. Meat based, bacon cheeseburger, battered. And all these, there's lots of, lots of wacky things uh, and I've been enjoying them as I've as I've been going round. I've come across some new ones, a few new a few new recipes that I'll be working on here, and hopefully I'll have another book, another PDF and paperback out uh, at the beginning of next year, when I've picked up enough foods, worked on the recipes, and brought them to you like this. Go to the website and subscribe to it. It's free, you know, so you'll just get notified when I do something like that. And don't forget, the YouTube channel's the one. That's where um, I'm really working hard to build up. It's only on a few hundred subscribers at the moment, but it's only been going uh, two months at the most. And I appreciate every one of you for doing that, for subscribing to it. Okay, so you get an idea. And there's a little image there in colour. Yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised what you'll find in here. Faggots, battered. But this is another point I want to make. Nothing compares to actually going to the chippy. You can't beat it. You can make all these things at home. You'll be using probably clean, fresh batter or oil, uh, oil or, or fats, beef dripping. But this is the difference, you see. There's the cooking techniques that the chippies use. There's the oils and the fats that they've used and that have been cooking all kinds of other products, even chocolate. You know, so you're getting the flavors of all the different foods in that oil, in that fat. And you know what it's like, you can go to an Indian restaurant and have a, I don't know, a chicken tikka masala, let's say, um, which is now at second most popular dish in the UK. So, you know, it's um, fish and chips have got back up there and you can get a recipe for it and you can, cook it at home. It's not going to be exactly the same as it is in the Indian restaurant. It just can't be. They have different cooking techniques, different times, different methods, different 
um, spices, different quality of foods that they're using. But for people that are living abroad, say, or don't live in a vicinity where someone might do a, a smash balm or a, um, a wigan kebab or something like that, you'll find a recipe on here, on this PDF. Not for everything. Like I say, I'll be working on another one for next year, but plenty of them. You're going to get close and it's going to make you want to call in at a chippy that does serve those foods. So it's all about getting chippies out there. You know, I'm all for preserving chippies. You might say, well, hang on, you're making a recipe to stop people buying. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Like I say, you can have as many recipes as you book on Chinese, as you like on Chinese foods, Indian food, um, Turkish food, all kinds of things. It's not going to stop those people going to a Chinese restaurant, Indian restaurant, or Turkish restaurant. It's just not. But it'll make them want to go to those places. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to preserve the traditional fish and chip shop. Everything I do is about that. And I'm having fun doing it. My wife's having fun doing it. We're having fun. So get onto this, download it. If you find yourself with any errors, typos, let me know in the YouTube comments and I'll be able to correct anything. And yeah, just do that. Get it out there and share it with as many people as you can. Share the channel. Let's get the chippy tour moving.